We are at the Blues Standard Embedded World 2024, and if you've watched Electromaker for any stretch of time, you know that we are no strangers to Blues. I did the review of the uh, Wi-Fi and cellular note card starter kit, um, uh, which has the note card in it and the nice baseboard, also the Swan STM32 MCU. Um, and there's, if you want to know more about that, there'll be a link to that in the description. I go in a great length about how much I love it for various reasons, but the key thing for me is simplicity. Everything here is a JSON command. It has an API that you can use with any hardware that you're working with, and Blues have since then expanded out into LoRa and also a very interesting satellite communication with their newest product, Starnote, that's just been announced. But well, we're going to start talking to TJ about LoRa. So, this is Blues, it is a note card, but it works with LoRa. Are there any other major differences or are people going to have a very similar uh, experience using it? Very similar experience. So I have the note card LoRa here. You'll yeah. see it, it shares the same form factor. It has the same M2 edge connector on the bottom. It's going to use the same APIs as the cellular and Wi-Fi note cards. And really, it's designed to provide that same experience. That's actually by design so that our developers that are used to how we make cellular and Wi-Fi easy can get that ex same experience when working with LoRa. Absolutely. And um, uh, again, one of the things about Blues that is uh, so wonderful is that it is very accessible. And for that reason, actually, there are a lot of the more maker side of our community that are using Blues products. And for people who are maybe sort of more at the start of their journey, um, where would they find the advantage for using a LoRa note card rather than, say, a Wi-Fi or a cellular note card? Yeah, well, there's some complexity. It, well, if you, if you use a LoRa before, you know there's some complexity involved with setting yeah. up different servers and whatnot as well. Mm. So we have a LoRa-based starter kit that also offers a prepackaged gateway and yeah. different sensors as well. And in terms of why you would use LoRa over cellular or Wi-Fi, it really excels when you have a lot of different devices that are sending data and you only need one hub that yeah. actually provides the network backhaul. Yeah, yeah. So for example, the note card LoRa, these are only $10 devices. Yeah. So they're far more cost effective if you're deploying them at some sort of really large scale because each individual node in your system mm -hmm. can stay relatively low cost and also low power. Yeah. These things are powered by, you see, teeny tiny batteries and they'll last a very, very long time. Absolutely, yeah. And, uh, and while we're going to try and keep uh, sort of hardware focused today, one of the things I do want to point out is that um, the one of the great things about Blues, in my experience, is that the Note Hub as well makes it very easy to take things from the board to the Note Hub. You don't really have to think about that part of it. Then you can pass that onto whatever service you want to. And presumably, this is the same story here. You can pass this from the Hub onto the uh, Note Hub exactly the same way, right? Same model. Makes yeah. it easy to get data from the device into the cloud. Mm -hmm. And in fact, it's the same cloud backend. So you could even share a cloud backend project between cellular, Wi-Fi, right. oh, LoRa. Yeah, you cool. could have you have some fun mixing and matching. Too. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah, um, I mean, I could I, I, I could talk about potential use cases about this all day. But as I mentioned, something quite exciting very recently was announced, which is a completely new note card that I didn't know was coming. Now, this is a little bit different, isn't it? Because this is a satellite note card, but it really is just an all in one thing. You buy this and you have a satellite solution. You don't have to pay like monthly fees or anything to it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So you don't have to. This is actually Starnote. It is, even though it looks like a note card, it's actually a note card accessory. It's right. a companion to the note card. It's meant to be used alongside a cellular or a selfless Wi-Fi or a Wi-Fi note card. And one of the things that's unique about this, because the state of satellite IoT, it's, it's, it's expensive. It's kind of a bit of a mess. There's a lot of money that you have to shell out just to get data back all over a cellular network. Starnote is, starts at $49 and it actually includes 18 kilobytes of data with the cost of the device. So we priced it very similar to what we did with the cellular note card to begin with data plus connectivity plus the actual hardware itself. And so 18K doesn't sound like a lot, but in satellite you don't use as much data. Yeah. All the transport goes over UDP, over NTN networks, basically NB IoT backhaul over NTN. And the, the whole value of this is you can send 50 byte messages once a day for a year with that 18K data that's included. If you need more data, data 75, 75 cents per kilobyte. Yeah. But this is really everything you need to get started with Starnote. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is something that we just launched at the end of February. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, and that is and that is one thing that is worth mentioning is that across the board from the entire time that I've been playing with Blue stuff, I've not had to spend a cent beyond just the actual hardware cost itself. Now, of course, if you're upscaling to 10,000 of something that send 100,000 messages a day, eventually there's going to be pricing involved, but it really is something that's very accessible to get started with. So in terms of the uh, the LoRa note card and Starno, uh, which of these things is available now? Where do people find them to buy? So the LoRa note card and the starter kit are all available today in the Blue store. If you go to shop.blues.io, you can learn more at blues.dev about these products. Starnote is in a beta right now, but will be available in June. June 3rd is our planned release date for the product. 
Awesome, yeah. And I mean, we'll definitely be covering it again when it does get released. And, and as I mentioned uh, right at the very start of this uh, interview, if you would like to find out more about blues in general, I feel like I did an all right job of summarizing kind of blues from top to bottom in the quite long-winded review I wrote for the Electromaker blog. There'll be a link to that in the description of the video. TJ, Brandon, thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.